archive here at the residence of former Republican President Edgar Lungu. Now, information coming our way is that thieves break, broke into you know, the residence of the former Republican President and um, we have been told that the matter has since been reported to the police. But to get more details, let me talk to Patriotic Fight member of the Central Committee, the Child of Information and Publicity, Mr. Rufo Nakachinda, who is right in front of me. Good afternoon, sir. You're live on Diamond TV News on the go. No, thank you very much. Um, uh, of course, uh, this morning we were woken up to very traumatizing uh, news that uh, uh, the house of the former president was broken into. And uh, of course we needed to have the police do their work. And we've been stationed here to um, understand what's going on. Uh, suffice to say that uh, what has happened today is unique. It's unique in the sense that this is the first time in the history of this country and it's an head of globally to have the house of a former head of state broken into and quote unquote suggesting that thieves broke into it. But we have every reason to believe that this is a well orchestrated professional work, possibly under the supervision of professional entities. And it's an indictment on or against those that are in authority in charge of security. Yesterday, last night, we received a report that uh, conveniently Zesco switched off or power switched off around 01 o'clock. And neighbors here can attest to that effect. What followed was the cutting of power supply to the facility and the security wire that has been put in place. Now, before we can give details to what has transpired from last night, I think it's important to remind the Zambian people that a, head, a former head of state is uh, entitled by law to a certain outfit of security. But to have security officers, police officers withdrawn and only leaving two officers to look after him in a facility of this nature is reckless. And the current president must even be ashamed that under his watch, his predecessor is having people break into his house. They withdrew officers. The next thing that followed, the Zambian people were aware that his ADC, aide de camp, responsible for his personal security, was not only arrested on trumped up charges, but also disarmed, meaning that basically putting the former head of state's life at risk. What has happened today can only be an indictment against President Haka Indechirema himself, Honorable Jack Mwimbu himself, the IG of the police, because this is not only an embarrassment, but reckless, and it should not have happened. How is it that Zesco conveniently at the time power went, then thieves came. Who coordinated that arrangement? Further, how is it that they, they knew the vulnerable area to access the house? And in this situation, if it is thieves, you expect that thieves will go for variable things. They leave everything and pick out a television or two television sets and walk away. Leave some of the items that could have been more valuable than a TV station, a TV set. That was basically just a decoy to suggest that people came to steal. But we believe they came to do more than stealing. It just happened that the former head of state is not around. He is out of the country. But the first lady is here. Her life was put at risk. Anything could have happened, save for God's grace. Mm. So to that effect, as a party, we are highly, highly concerned. But also as citizens, and more importantly, as citizens of the Republic of Zambia, we are concerned about what has happened here. It has never happened. It never happened to Kaunda. It never happened to Chiruva. It never happened to even the Monasa family. It never happened to the Sata family. 
It never happened to the Pia Banda. Why is it that under the UPND government, a former head of state is that vulnerable? If a former head of state is as vulnerable as it has been expressed or done today, what of an ordinary citizen? What kind of government is this that can put a former head of state's life at risk, his family at risk? How's, how is the condition of the um, former uh, first lady at the moment? Well, being a prayerful woman, you can attest of, to the fact that she is placed placed her faith in God. But if we are, you know, part of the extended family, are this traumatized because we have said time and again that we have a mafia government that is going to start targeting individuals, including killing those they, quote unquote, perceive to be their enemies or their, you know, uh, rivals. President Edgar Chagwalungu has been magnanimous enough to give President HH space to govern. He has even placed himself, what we usually joke with him, under house arrest, because he never moves from this house. The first trip that he has made after one year of handing over power is just going for, you know, to South Africa for some routine that he, he, he has undertaken. In, in Zambia here, apart from church services that he would attend once in a while, he never goes anywhere. But there is always this talk from the UPND press singers, UPND officials, suggesting things around President Edgar Chagorong. Look at the recent activities that were you know, undertaken, harassing the wife over 15 floods. When we went to deck, the officers that are operating here from the police are operating under very difficult circumstances. We have zooming and we are being told that some of the officers are actually being told who deployed you there? In other words, they have become lepers because they are providing a service in terms of security to the former head of state. Why are you accusing you know, uh, the state in this particular matter when investigations are under? The state is responsible towards looking after the former head of state. For me, the state, yes, have a responsibility, but I first have to be, as a private citizen, look after myself then by extension, the police and so on. But the former head of state is the number one responsibility, is the responsibility of the office of, of the, uh, the office of president, the OP, the director general of uh, intelligence is responsible for his security. The IG is responsible for his security and all security wings. He cannot be treated the way I would be treated. He cannot be treated the way other people have been treated because by law, there is an outfit expected to be accorded to a former head of state. Misaka in Daichirema, here you must take personal responsibility. Your brother's life is at stake and you are the number one citizen. He is the one that handed over power to you. Take responsibility. What else do you want to happen in this case following, you know, what has um, transpired now? We are now beginning to suspect. We don't know whether we can even expect any action to be taken because as we were put it, the hot potato is in the laps of those who are in government today. So we don't know whether if we say, can you do this, it is to the best interest of the former head of state. But all we're saying that they didn't do the right thing. The officers that are being harassed here for being providing security here now have been turned into rappers. We want to know what is the agenda. Why do we want to divide the system of the systems that have always operated for, gener for decades? Why should the police today begin to have camps? This camp for this one, this camp for that one, that camp for that one. Why should it be that a police officer deployed here should be perceived to be one who is anti, when in fact they are just doing their job? They were trained only to provide security. Now, before I, I let you go, um, when this, you know, happened, where was, you know, um, this, where were the security officers? Um, have they been, you know, injured in the process? Where were they? There were only two officers, mm -hmm. and as it is expected, one has to man the gate. The other has to be responsible for patrols. And obviously the facility is quite, uh, you know, uh, reasonably big. So how would you expect a former head of state to only have two officers? He is a former mm. home affairs minister. Tell us, maybe in your tenure, did you have two officers that are accorded to a former head of state when you were in office? We can respond to that. <laughs> you know, government has to respond to that because all of us are getting concerned. And uh, we hope that they will do a professional job to investigate food, what has happened. This is an embarrassment to the country.
and, and government because the first uh, people who are shall be held is the responsible for whatever will happen is government and the church. Mm. Thank you so much. Okay. All right. So um